AM Sports Report brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress. Experience the ultimate in relaxation and support with the Flex Steel Z Recliner. With a variety of customizable positions, zero gravity recline, and a durable performance fabric, the Z Recliner is your ticket to a healthier, well rested life. Get to Northwest Furniture and Mattress and discover the true power of comfort. Big red rocking chair on Elm off Adams and LeGrand. EOU football dropped their home opener on Saturday, 45-22 to against Montana Tech. Senior quarterback Quincy Glasper was 31 for 45, 259 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. He also led the team in rushing with 72 yards on 15 carries. LHS grab Brody McMillan had 60 yards on 16 carries. The offensive line actually played pretty good for EOU. I was impressed with the offensive line, and that's normally one of their weak spots. Um, they have a big problem. EOU has a really big problem at kicker and punter. We brought on the uh, kicker to kick an extra point. He missed it. They didn't kick again. I mean, it's just like... These are things that have to be addressed before the season, in my eyes. We have a wide receiver punting, um, and at this level, I mean, that just doesn't work. Like, we should have a punter and a kicker, and I don't know what's going on with this, that situation. I don't know if somebody's hurt or what, but um, they got to get that figured out moving forward. EOU women's soccer beat Evergreen 5 to nothing on Friday night and then lost an absolute heartbreaker on Saturday. One second to go. There's a penalty. And they it's not even a penalty kick. They set the ball probably, I don't know, 25 yards out, 20 yards out. And the girl kicks, just lofts it over our goalie's head and it goes into the goal with one second left and we <laughs> lost one nothing. It was it was extremely heartbreaking. Um, the the Mountaineer ladies are two. One and one, or excuse me, two, two, and two, and they head to Billings this Sunday to take on Rocky Mountain College. EOU men's soccer beat Evergreen as well, six to nothing on Friday, and then battled to a one-one tie on Saturday versus Northwest. They're currently two, one, and one. They head to Walla Walla Friday for a two p.m. kickoff versus the Wolves. EOU cross country had a strong performance at the CCC preview in Portland on Friday. The women finished third with Maddie Woodbury leading the way for the Mounties with a 13th place finish. Kalia Hines was the second Mountie to cross the finish line in 16th place. On the men's side, the 7th ranked Mounties finished third as well. The only CCC team that beat them was C of I, and C of I is a little bit ahead of them in the rankings, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, Justin Ash and George Showers were the top two finishers for the Mounties finishing 6th and 10th respectively. EOU Volleyball went on the road and swept Bushnell on Friday night. Saturday's matchup versus number 7 Corbin was looking like it was going to be a wash as well. EOU was up two sets to none, but then let Corbin get the next two sets. The Mounties then found themselves in trouble, down 13-10 to 10 in the 5th and final set. They rallied and they came back. It was awesome. Um, I was up in the hospitality room at Community Stadium with the women's basketball team. And it was so awesome to see another team at EOU get as excited as these young ladies were when EOU came back and won that game. Uh, the, the Mountie volleyball team is currently number two in the nation. And that was a huge, huge, huge victory for them against number seven Corbin. Uh, EOU Volleyball's Haley Aratola had 44 digs, 42 serve receptions without an error, four aces and five assists over the weekend. For her efforts, the senior libero was named the CCC Player of the Week defensively, and that's the first time in her career that she's gotten that award. Congrats, Haley. You deserved it. LHS Girls Soccer beat Astoria 4 to nothing on Friday. They play Thursday at Community Stadium at 6 p.m. versus Ontario. While the boys go to Ontario today for a 4 p.m. kickoff. LHS Volleyball lost to Burns 2-0 on Saturday. They host Baker at the high school up here on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. LH fo LHS Football was on a bye this week. They go to Nyssa this Friday for a 7 p.m. kickoff versus the Bulldogs. That's mountain time. In the GOL, Pendleton got beat at home by Weezer 70-45. Baker lost to Vail 
48 to 19. Ontario lost to Ashland 53 to 47, and Crook County beat Malala 55 to 19. Around the Valley football-wise, Imbler had a bye this week, while Elgin lost to Cove 56 to 18 on Thursday night. Union lost to Adrian 46 to nothing, and Powder Valley lost their first game of the year to Crane 38 to 22. The fundraiser for Kate's Courage was on Saturday, and it looks like it was a huge success. I mean, I've been following on social media. I didn't get to go. I was at EOU literally all day that day. Um, but thank you to all the volunteers and supporters. This uh, community never ceases to amaze me. I mean, I saw the pictures. I know how many people were there, and I can't even imagine the amount of money that was raised for Kate's Courage and for the McKinley family, and it's an awesome thing. SAM Sports Report brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress. Go check out their showroom. Big Red Rocking Chair on Elm off Adams and LeGrand.